Hi friends, today we are going to see demo on Snowflake data unloading and how it behave with the null value and the blank value and how you can export the data with enclosing quotes. If you have not seen visited my recent blog on Snowflake data unloading, I would suggest you to please have a look. Link of the blog is mentioned on the video description. Let's start with some demo. So um, I'm going to use the sysadmin for this uh, demo and I'm going to create a, create a database with the name database unloading demo. And there will be one employee table which will have uh, uh, some different varieties of uh, dummy data. Uh, here you can see that uh, I'm going, I'm using the same data data set, which I have used in my previous data unloading video. But the only difference I have made here is like, in case of uh, uh, region, I have provided null in case of first row. And I have provided a contact with the string as null region. On the second row, I have provided the double single red comma, opening and closing quotes without any space. And I mentioned the text as blank reason. And on the third row, I have provided the single open and close code, but with a space and mentioned the text as blank name with space. And on the fourth, I have just uh, modified the name uh, null and uh, I provided the string as a null name. And rest like there is a minor change on the file format but that i will explain when i'm uh, executing the script so let's start with the actual demo so i'm going to use the role sysadmin creating the database and then using the same database I'm going to create the table and populate the table with the dummy data and the data set let's execute and see what kind of data we have inserted so as i explained for the first four rows i modified the data in the first row you can see the region is populated with null and the contact is as null region on the second row I provided as a blank open and close bra bracket which means it's as a blank region so I mentioned the text as blank region on the third case I uh, did the same thing open and close employee name but with a space and I mentioned the blank name with space on the fourth case I just provided a null as a name Rest all the other rows have the correct data set and uh, we don't have to look into the details. So let's now we have the table, we have the data. Now we will create the file format and this uh, file format has one differences like it, it, it by default if we don't provide any kind of format, it is a CSV. So uh, and I had not provided here any format. So but by default it will export in the CSV file. The only difference I wanted to mention here is like I am going to use a field field optionally enclosed by single quote. So this is the hexadecimal uh, value for the single quotes. So sorry, not hexadecimal. It's a NC code, I think. Yeah, NC code for single quotes and null if equal to null. So if there is a null value, mention this as a null. So let me create this and then we will show you from the uh, GUI as well. So now file format has been created. Let's go on the database. Let's select the, sorry, cancel. Go to the database, data unloading, and then go to the file format, click here and click on edit. So here, if you go here, you will see that the field option is enclosed by single code, which I mentioned. So here you can also provide the different varieties, whether you want a double code, single code or none. By default, it's none. For this, I am for this demo. I provided it as a single code. For the null string column, you can provide as a null, or you can provide double slash and null, null, and others. So in our case, we are using the null keyword, and rest all the other value are default. So I kept this as is. I am not going to change anything over here, and I am going to create use the internal stage for this demo. So I use the internal, uh, I created an internal stage using the same CSV file format. Now I'm going to uh, use the same uh, 
internal stage uh, even though i provided explicitly the same file format but even if i don't provide this name it will use the stage file format so let's execute because i have already written so let's execute there is no uh, differences so i exported the file so you can see we have exported 12 rows we can see the, the same data exported in the internal stage so you can see that it's a zip file now that we have already exported the data and uh, we can see them available on the list we can quickly connect on the command line which is which i am already connected and i'm going to get those data from my internal stage into my data loading directory in my local so, all right i'm not sure whether it's exported okay i think i have not copied this all right now i have copied executed and we can see the file has been downloaded let's go here export that into zip file so it will be exported yes now it's exported let's close this and let's open this on the notepad plus plus so here you can see on the first row where we have mentioned null now this null is coming as with inside the single quote and in the second case where we have provided the open and close bracket there is no differences or no change because it's it was already uh, there with single quotes and in the third case similarly uh, there was a space in between so the data is still intact we have a space in in the name and in case of the fourth row uh, we provide the null and now that null is uh, exported as a string value null so this is how you can export the data uh, and uh, uh, using the uh, single quote or double quote uh, as per your requirement and this is the behavior of the null column so you have seen that we have the variety of data uh, in the employee table if you have a null column or if you have a blank value how it is going to react when you export the data hopefully you uh, understand how to use this feature of field optionally enclosed by single quotes or double quotes so that now that we have already seen and exported data let me remove the file so that we don't have using the internal stage for unnecessary storage so now i have removed uh, the data from the file or file from the sorry file from the internal stage let's move back to the ppt so uh, thanks for watching the video hope you have liked my video